Halo teman-teman, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat pagi, selamat siang, selamat sore, selamat malam Salam sejahtera kepada kalian semua um, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening And uh, to all my friends around the world <laughs> It's like I'm a famous uh, Yeah, today I just got a unhappy news Very soft news, not very, it's normally now We used to it with this news. It's just dropped by government in here that we missed one person in which, which was in Perth before, and he. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure. It's she or he, because uh, that person. But we were talking with some person, some some people outside. It said they said it's she and she's pregnant and she's from India, and uh, she was in Perth and flew to uh, Melbourne when uh, she, and she has a four year old child as well and she's pregnant as well and she got infected in Perth they said when they flew to Melbourne and got a test result and she's positive and then after that track down where she was before in Perth and then now government just dropped the news that we just had uh, to let us know about uh, lockdown so this is the news uh, from midnight tonight Perth and Peel will enter into a three-day lockdown People in these regions will be expected to stay at home except for the following four reasons or in an emergency situation. For work where it is not possible to work remotely. For processing essential goods including food, groceries, medical or necessary supplies. For one hour of outdoor exercise per day. For medical or health care purposes including looking after the vulnerable. From 6 p.m. today, today, hari ini, Uh, today is a uh, Friday, 23rd of April. Uh, Mask will be mandatory except while at home. So from 6 p.m. today, mask will be mandatory except while at home during vigorous outdoor exercise while in a vehicle with members of your own household. For more information, please see the update below from Premier Mark McGowan. So this is from the Premier. I've just finished a number of urgent emergency meetings and have a serious issue to update the community on current, current situation. Today, Victorian Health received the test result of one of the people in the immediate adjacent room to the cases involved in the Mercure Hotel intra-room transmission. The male in his 50s is COVID positive and is currently in hotel quarantine in Melbourne. Oh, it's a male, not a woman, and it's not pregnant. So it was just rumors before. Sorry about that. So apparently it says the premier said, it's a, he says in here, the male in his 50s is COVID positive and is currently in hotel quarantine in Melbourne. He was one of the two people in immediate adjacent rooms. The other person has returned a negative, resu negative result and will complete 14 days of hotel quarantine in Perth. This case arrived in Perth on April 3 on flights SQ223 after spending time in Shanghai. His room was alongside the family from the UK, so opposite the couple from India, but one over to the right. He returned a negative result on day 12 in hotel quarantine and was then subsequently released on the 17th of April before leaving for Melbourne on the 21st of April. This means he spent up to five days in Perth, and we now need to assume he was infectious during this five-day period. I will now go through what we currently know, but I want to say this, this is a fast evolving situation and we are acting on information that this just coming to light. Because the person is in Victoria, we've immediately mobilized teams to begin contact tracing. A more detailed summary of the locations and specific times will be released later today when we have that information finalized, finalized from our contact tracing team. But generally, this is what we know at this stage. After leaving hotel quarantine on the 17th, he stayed with a friend and her two children at their home in Gardenia and went to a Malaysian restaurant. That friend has, who is a close contact had a rapid COVID test today and that has just returned positive. My goodness. On the, uh, on the 18th, the Victorian case visited a swimming pool in the southern suburbs. He had a coffee in Liming and dinner in Northbridge and then stayed at St. Catherine's College at... UWA, which offers short-stay accommodation. 
On the 19th, he visited a Chinese traditional medical doctor, went to Northbridge and again stayed at the college that night. On the 20th, he visited Kings Park and Northbridge again. On the 21st, he had breakfast at St. Catherine's before being driven by his friend to the airport. He boarded flight QF778 from Perth to Melbourne at 7.05 p.m. that afternoon. The flight had 257 passengers and Victorian Health is working on contact tracing those people. For any Western Australia that was on that flight and has since returned, you will be required to be tested immediately and self-quarantine for 14 days. So in summary, we now have two positive cases that have been in our community from April 17th. Details and locations for both the Victorian case and his friend will be finalized and released publicly as soon as possible. If you have been to this relocations, to this location during the times list, you will need to get tested and isolate until you return a negative test result. If, if people are uh, deemed a close contact by public health official, you will be tested and required to self-quarantine for 14 days. We are currently scaling up our contact tracing and COVID testing teams. We are also uh, obtaining CCTV vision to piece together more details. We know his accommodation at St. At St. Catherine's College at the, uh, UWA has a separate bathroom. How will be sent into St. Catherine's College to test people? So anyone at UWA, if you're feeling unwell, you need to get tested. Restrictions and three-day lockdown. As a result of this situation, we need to act and do what is necessary to prevent further community transmission. We have gone more than 12 months, 12 months of no community transmission and our lives in WA have been normal compared to, to what we have seen around the world. We need to do everything we can to protect our way life. That's why from midnight to night, Perth and Peel will enter a Thursday lock, three day, a three day lockdown over the long weekend until midnight on Monday night. I know this hard to take. I really wish we didn't need to be doing this, but we can't take any changes with this virus. We just can't. We just can't. Lockdown. From midnight to night, people will need to stay in the Perth and Peel regions and won't be able to leave unless you have an exemption. There will be the four reasons to leave your house. This are uh, work because you can't work from home or remotely. Shopping for essentials like groceries, medicine and necessary supplies, medical or health health care needs, including com compassionate requirements and looking after the vulnerable and exercise with a maximum of four feet people limited to one hour per day and mask must be worn except for vigorous exercise so yeah this is very long so the following restriction will apply for the lockdown period people can enter port and pill only to access or deliver essential health and emergency services and other essential requirements or returning residents restaurants cafes or pubs to prof Five takeaway service only. No visitors to hospitals or resident, res, uh, residential ages care or disability facilities unless there are exceptional circumstances. We weddings and funerals will be permitted. However, they will be limited to a 100 patron capacity, not including staff, and must must be worn. This will be only exemption for res restaurants and other even locations. COVID testing. If you are unwell more than ever, you need to stay home and get tested if you are symptomatic. Our testing clinic are open and ready for people to get tested if you are symptomatic. Vaccination will continue over the three-day lockdown period. So, the response of Western Australians has always been second to none. Again, I urge everyone to accept the health advice to stay safe. To stay safe. We've maintained caution and abundance the whole way along this unpredictable COVID-19 journey. We need to stay the course together. Take care of your loved ones and be careful of others, including those who are working to keep essential services and supplies ticking over. We will provide further updates as they come to hand. Jadi ya, ini. Ah, jadi sampai mereka uh, mereka akan uh, track down, uh, menjelajah kemana orang-orang ini pergi sebelumnya seperti kayaknya kita melacak. Jadi nanti bagaimana orang yang satu pesawat dengan mereka yang 257 tadi itu nanti kalau ada yang terkena makannya nanti lockdownnya ini bisa lebih lama lagi. Jadi sementara ini cuma 3 4 hari. Karena uh, weekend ini kita ada long weekend karena Senin itu hari pahlawannya di sini hari pahlawannya orang Australia itu tanggal merah. Jadi lockdownnya sampai 3 hari ke depan mulai nanti sore jam 6. Jadi beginilah caranya Western Australia khususnya menghandle atau mengatasi situasi kalau ada salah satu yang lolos dari 
uh, atau terkena uh, virus ini. Jadi langsung diberitakan melalui sosial media atau uh, warganya yang terkait yang terhubung dengan online itu langsung ke SMS atau apapun itu ya sama aja mungkin ya tapi kita kayaknya lebih detail gitu langsung ditutup semua tapi semuanya hebatnya tuh mereka langsung menurut jadi saya berharap semoga teman-teman semua uh, dalam keadaan baik-baik semua menjaga kesehatan dan selalu peduli kepada lingkungan dan orang-orang yang dicintai uh, COVID ini sudah merajalela banyak yang meremehkan, jangan diremehkan karena COVID ini pintar sekali sekali lagi saya katakan, saya pernah mengatakan ini dan saya akan mengatakan lagi COVID-19 ini pintar, dia punya dia jenius, dia bisa tumbuh dan berkembang. Jadi kita, tapi kita tidak kalah jeniusnya dengan mereka karena kita manusia derajatnya lebih tinggi. Amin. Jadi kita harus fight. Jadi oke okay, terima kasih begitu aja salamnya dari saya. Semoga kita semua dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. May all, uh, Almighty God always protect us and bless us wherever we are. Oke, okay, hopefully everything Just keep fighting with this virus. Don't don't step back or just fight. Fight. If you got something on uh, symptoms, one of the symptoms, just take care of yourself and take care of uh, uh, people around. Just stay at home for a while and do uh, heavy mask. Okay. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching. Terima kasih atas perhatiannya dan waktunya dalam menonton acara saya. God bless you all. Stay safe and stay connected. Stay well always. Take care of you. Bye-bye. Love you.